Hey guys, it's Jim. This is your 30 second notes for uh, this coming Sunday, December 7th. And uh, I know we've got a wild, uh, crazy week. I'll try to be brief. Uh, I know it's going to be tough for uh, some of us. We've got four rehearsals tonight, four rehearsals tomorrow night, three on Wednesday, two on Thursday. Uh, the big th kids thing Sunday afternoon and then repeat it next week and then the big concert. I know it's, it's just crazy, crazy, uh, borderline insane, but uh, it's really two hard weeks. Uh, out of all of them, so uh, I think we can knock it out, and it shouldn't be too horrible. But um, anyway, just uh, let me give you a thought for the week. Um, this my own personal worship experience as of yesterday morning. First hour, you know, we've already sung the thing in rehearsal, and here we are, second hour, a uh, first hour. So this is my second time through it. The words are passing through my mind. It's our last song, "Be Thou My Vision," and a lot of things come flooding in when I when we sing that song, "Be Thou My Vision." Uh, not the least of which is Paula's piano playing because I hear what she's doing and it's uh, just, I can hear her worshiping by the way she's playing and uh, the risks that she's taking and the, the, the intelligence that's coming through and the, it's just melodious and, and, and it, Paula, it enhances my own personal worship. It really does. It's just, uh, so I've got that factor going in. We're coming up to verse three. The other factor, I, big factor I have, is whenever we come to verse 3, um, <clears throat> I'm reminded of the death of a girl that was in my singles ministry a few years ago, 10 years ago, uh, 13 years ago. <laughs> um, she um, was 27 years old. She uh, had um, cancer uh, spread all over her. And uh, we just kind of watched her go through the battles and never thought she was going to die. I mean... I knew it was serious, but I mean, my goodness, she was young, and anyway, she had just turned 28 when she died. And, um, I, you know, she was a new believer, and uh, it was a, just a, it was a big thing. It was a big deal in, in my um, ministry and my ministry life, because I'd never experienced anything like that before, and it was just so profound and so hard, and, and uh, seeing her in her last days and even minutes in the hospital, just very hard for the family and, and uh, anyway and in fact that's the way I met Eric and Jenny Tucker it was Jenny Tucker's sister younger sister and the day I met Eric and Jenny Tucker um, uh, her sister Andrea Andy had just come back from the hospital from a bad report and uh, so I drove to her condo because I knew she had come home with a very bad report and uh, Eric and Jenny were already there in their big huge green suburban uh, and it was pouring down rain, and I remember walking up to their car in the pouring rain, knocking on the window, going, I don't know you, but do you mind if I come in? And uh, that's how I met the Tuckers, and uh, we sat out in the pouring rain and, and prayed and cried together. Very profound. So when I come up to verse 3 of the song, it means a lot to me because Andrea loved this verse. Um, she, she loved, um, you know, it says, Be thou my battle shield, sword for the fight, sword for my fight. Uh, it's this next line that she loved. Be thou my dignity, thou my delight. And the reason she loved the idea of, of, of Christ's dignity is, uh, again, she was a new believer. She had lived kind of uh, rough there for a while. And when she, had, when she died, we did two funerals. Dr. Young and I did two funerals. We both spoke at both of them. Um, one was in Memphis, then we drove to Nashville the next day and had another, the same exact funeral service in Nashville. And seeing the um, table of photographs in Memphis compared to the table of photographs in Nashville was a profound thing. Um, meeting the people, um, no knock to them at all, but it was a profound thing. You could see um, life transformation. It's almost like Andrea was speaking from the grave, uh, that her life had been undeniably transformed. I mean, it was really a, an impacting thing. And um, anyway, uh, that's, that's just the word for it, dignity, you know, uh, our, our dignity, our value, uh, our worth, our blood worth uh, in the Lord Jesus Christ and him alone. Uh, just a, a cool thing. Uh, a couple more things came flooding in, and really these are the things that made me start to cry during the worship service. Um, um, thou my soul's shelter, 
Um, I was praying yesterday morning about shelter. It's such a it's such a thing we take for granted. We walk outside, we go, oh, it's a cold, crisp morning. Oh, isn't this brisk and you know uh, bracing and uh, and all that? But uh, it, it's also a killer. You know, the cold is a killer, and and we take our shelter so grant for granted. And I was actually praying about that Sunday morning, and. And, uh, and I'm just thinking, thou my soul's shelter. I mean, him personally, God personally, the creator of the universe, um, the all-powerful, the everywhere present, is he personally is my soul's shelter, my protection, my keeper, my sustainer. Um, awesome. The next line, thou my high tower. You know, I was preaching from uh, First Kings yesterday. And, um, you know, these poor, bad kings that did evil in the eyes of the Lord uh, and led the nation down an evil path. I mean, they build these false worship centers on the high places. And uh, so I had that rumbling through my mind, too. And I'm just thinking, thou, my high tower. Uh, what a relief, folks. I mean, some of you are going through bad job things and... and uh, um, you know, are just feeling the the effects of the economy pressing in on you. Um, he he's your high tower, he's your shelter. Uh, he will not let uh, his saints uh, fall. He has not cut his eye away from you, not not a, not for a second. Um, and then, of course, the last thing, and this is really what I want to leave you with: Raise thou me heavenward, O power of my power. I know it's a crazy week. Uh, I know it's difficult. I know it's demanding, and I know that you're not doing it because of some guy or because of some church, uh, certainly not the accolades. Uh, I know you're doing it in service to the King of all kings, and I, I, that's wonderful. Uh, but in those, in those pressures, as you move through this life, as we strive to live a good and godly week, um, let, let, that, let that be our petition, our prayer. Let's ask God um, uh, many times this week. Um, Raise thou me heavenward, raise me heavenward, Lord. O power of my power, cause me to think like Jesus Christ. Cause me to uh, desire holy things. Uh, don't let me call what is sinful sacred. Let me, let me love what is sacred. Let me love what you love. Uh, that's our plea. Have a great week, a good and godly week. Peace.